Mike, you have a proven track record as a great defensive coach, so that's nobody, including me, is questioning that. But I do want to ask you, before the going back this week, watching some interviews with you before the season, I don't think anybody saw the defense struggling at this point like it is. What did you miss, or is it something that, no, we didn't miss anything, but we weren't expecting this, this, and this? No, you know, when asked about the returning defense before the year, I think one of the things I talked about was uh, people – didn't understand the value of some of the guys that weren't listed as starters, like John Reschke and, right. and Morrissey and Bulla and Grayson Miller. And those are a bunch of guys that were um, they were leaders for us. They were leaders for us and, and helped make sure everything was always going in the right direction, as Coach D would say, like this. And um, we've been working hard to replace those type of guys. And like I always said, get a, get a two deep, get 22 starters. And it's been a battle. There's no doubt about it. It's been a battle. And we've had some guys out there on the field that – have been in positions that they hadn't been before, and, and um, honestly, we need to handle them better. So, with the biggest issue, because I want to make sure I hear you correct, is is it depth? I, I think I think it's depth, and I think it's depth of experience, depth of leadership. Okay. Not just uh, playing time. Not just playing time depth, but you know the number of guys within each position room that have been on the field, have been there, have been Spartan for a number of years, and and can show the younger guys how it is. Does some of that rub off in terms of? the extra snaps that the veterans had to take to kind of wear them down later in games and longer they play. Yeah, you know, um, big thing we're working on right now is we got to understand, hey, the, the first 11 guys on the field, most of those guys are the same guys. And there's absolutely no reason we shouldn't believe in ourselves as dominant from snap number one to snap number 75 or what it is. And, and right now, um, when something hits in the wrong direction, all of a sudden there's a little bit of a head down, type of mentality that, that we shouldn't have. Because to be honest, you can go back and look at last year's film and, and we did some stupid things and gave up some plays. And uh, the thing about it was, was our guys truly believed that was a fluke. They believed it was a fluke. And, and that's the way it has to be. You can't ever have the mentality, um, oh my goodness, here we go, you know, type of thing. You can't, you can't play ball that way. We're too good of players for that. Mark said today, Mark said today, is fully intends to be back here next year coaching this team. What does that mean for the assistants? And, I mean, I'm sure you guys have a better idea what's going on yeah, here. But yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I knew that. Yeah. And um, obviously, Antoine Simmons' interview post game when he was asked about basically does he believe in what's going on, and there was zero hesitation. He snapped back, yes, I absolutely believe in this program and Coach D'Antonio and everybody in it. That That's how we feel. There's no doubt that's how we feel. Um, but – but right now, today, what we need to do is we need to make sure we play above our potential. That's what we've always said. We need our guys to play above their potential. If we do that, we're going to A, be happy, and B, be good. So that's what the focus is now. Look at how do you get back to playing the, playing the deep ball like you guys used to? How do you get back to playing the deep ball like you used to? Um, I think a lot of it is uh, you need to be like the shortstop that wants the ball hit at you as opposed to the shortstop that hopes it's hit at the second baseman. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We need everyone out there to say, okay, this is a passing situation. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. And then go attack the thing. And uh, it's, it's not a skill set issue. It's uh, trust. There's times where we're in position and we still don't get our head around and go attack the ball. So I think uh, once we get the feeling that, hey, Bring it to me. I'm going to go get it. We're going to be good because the skill set's there. Josiah Scott's always been a guy that wants that. Yeah. What about the other, other guys out there? Oh, Shakur Brown, I believe, is a guy that, that wants he it, too. He just needs to be focused yeah. a little more sometimes. And, and, um, and sometimes he even gets a little bit antsy where he's going to jump at something that crosses his eyes when really it's not his responsibility. And, he, and he's getting better at that. But um, Josiah should be good and should be back. And, and those, are, those are two ball hawks um, that do want the ball thrown their way. But everybody that's on the field needs to have that mentality. All eleven. You got obviously a lot of guys that'll be gone next year, mm -hmm. um, and, and you talk about that depth. I guess the next few weeks, how do you try and get those guys ready for for what's coming next year versus knowing that you need to win two more to get to the bowl and get more practice time for them? Yeah, I mean, we're gonna do what we need to do to win this Saturday. And, and, yeah, you want to get as many people experience as you can. That's always the case. But that won't be something that we're thinking about. We need to get so-and-so on the field to get experience before next year. We need to win this ball game. But I'll also say this. 
you know, we do feel like we got some young talent that they also know they have to scratch and claw to get good enough to be where we've been. And, uh, and you know, hopefully the guys that have been around are also feeling that right now that they need to scratch and claw. Because obviously, you know, we must have lost a little bit of that somewhere.